Hey guys, we're here in the Film Lab's editing suite with a really quick tip on sound editing. Sometimes when you're shooting, it's nearly impossible to record really good crystal clear sound. For instance, here in the Film Lab, we have trains going by our window every day. We have a heater that sounds like a lawnmower when it's turned on. And downstairs, there's a soup making business that employs the loudest outside voice using people that ever walked the earth. As a result, when I cut together these videos for the substream.com, what I normally have to do is cut the audio in on the very first frame of sound and snip it off on the tail on the very last frame of sound. This isolates just the line of dialogue I want and cuts out the stuff in between the dialogue, like the train or the heater or whatever, that I don't want. Now, this is nothing new. This is what sound editors usually do anyhow. They isolate the sound that they want, manipulate it however they want, they put a uh, room tone underneath the whole thing and you're none the wiser, big deal. But one thing I've noticed when I cut sound this way is that when I cut on the first frame of dialogue, sometimes I'm actually cutting in the middle of a sound that I didn't even really realize was there when we were shooting. Like it could be a train in the distance or something like that. I'm cutting that sound in half as I cut the line of dialogue in on the first frame. And that produces a clicking sound. It's almost unnoticeable, but when you cut enough audio, you start to pick up on these things and it drives you crazy. This is especially noticeable when I cut together Watch This Instead videos, which are pretty much all jump cuts, wall-to-wall -wall jump cuts, audio butted up against other audio clips. The clicks that you hear on each of those cuts become way more obvious. And what's worse is they reveal your edit points, which may not do much to help you if you're trying to go for subtlety. But there's a really, really easy way to get rid of them. The thing is, those clicks only really exist for the duration of one frame. That's 1 30th of a second. Not very much time at all. And if you delete that frame, yes, those clicks might disappear. But remember, you've cut in on the first frame of sound that you actually want. So you delete the first frame, you're probably gonna be left with a click as you cut in on the second frame of good sound. So how do you do it? How do you get rid of them? Well, what you do is this. You isolate your sound, cut in on the first frame, cut out on the very last frame of sound, and fade in for the duration of one frame, and fade out for the duration of one frame. Do this for all of your audio clips. And if you have two audio clips that are butting up against each other, just do a crossfade between them two frames long. That's one frame on either side of the cut. And that's it, that's all you need to do to get rid of the clicks. What you're left with is some smooth sounding, non-clicking audio that not only hides any unwanted sounds that you don't like, like the trains or the heater, but also they make your edit points way less obvious. It might take a little bit of extra work for you to go through your whole project and do this to each audio clip, but it's worth it, trust me. Do me a favor, send me any questions or concerns or suggestions for other post-production related Film Lab episodes, and maybe we'll take a look at them in the future. But for now, goodbye.